not any pity parties being thrown for the Patriots around the National Football League, but, you know, we're trying to take the temperature of the rest of the country, how they feel about the Patriots being eliminated from the postseason with two regular seasons to go. Surprise, shock, or expected? Uh, I think surprise. I think shock. You know, when this schedule comes out, uh, the Monday Night Football schedule, we're, you know, we're rubbing our hands together excited, thinking, you know, we knew Buffalo was on the up. Probably thought New England was, you know, on the way down to some extent, but you had to think uh, this game would be for the AFC East. You could not have imagined the Patriots being out of it. All right, is there going to be a Belichick-Brady storyline in the, some point during this broadcast? You know, we'll see if Greasy and Riddick want to play along with me. I think that was, you know, so much of the chatter, and not just here in New England, but around the country. You know, could Bill win without Tom? Could Tom win without Bill? Uh, I don't want to give too much away, but I, I will say this. Uh, the fans seem to enjoy our, our animations, some of those sort of uh, comic-looking type things. And uh, we do have a, a Tom Brady, Bill Belichick a piece put together that I, that I think um, – uh, movie lovers will enjoy. Let's put it that way. There's a little tease for it. All right, can't wait. Looking forward to it. All right, so Monday Night Football, traveling around the league, around the country, depending on what state regulations are, little or no crowd at all. How do you get amped up and have the energy to broadcast every single week with empty stadiums? It's, uh, it, you know, it's, it's a bit of an issue. And I'll tell you it straight. Like, you know, five minutes before the broadcast, you know, we're looking around at each other and there's, there's no energy. We're trying to get the truck fired up and they're trying to get us fired up now. Uh, as you know, I, I'm a naturally excitable guy. Yep. And, uh, you know, even in the studio, doing those 2 a.m. sports centers, you know, the red light comes on and, and I'm ready to roll. So let me ask you about production meetings. Usually it's the day before the game. You sit around a conference room in some hotel or in the team's facility. Is this yeah. all, all Zoom all the time, all season long? Lynchy, here's the craziest part, man. So uh, myself, Brian Greasy, Lewis Riddick, and Lisa Salters have not been in the same room a single time. So that's been tough, you know. It's like Cam Newton talks about as well. You know, he wants to be a social guy. You want to be around your teammates and build camaraderie. And uh, it's, it's just that part of it's been really hard. Stevie, thanks so much for your time. I know this is a big honor for you, a guy who spent a lot of time living in Boston. And welcome home and uh, have a great call on this broadcast. Really cool to be back, Lynchy. Thanks, and always great talking to you, pal. Be well. All right. Thanks so much, Steve Levy.